Huawei's highway to success goes through Russia. Russian engineers are helping Huawei find ways to reduce the burden of U.S. sanctions. The year 2020 was a difficult one for Huawei. In August, the Trump administration imposed new restrictions aimed at depriving Huawei access to computer chips made with U.S. technology. At the same time, the company found itself under growing pressure in Europe. The United Kingdom, France, Sweden, Poland, and Romania all banned Huawei from participating in their fifth-generation 5G mobile networks. The one country where Huawei continues to receive a warm welcome, however, is Russia. But, before I continue the video please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notifications by clicking the bell icon. In June 2019, Huawei and Russian telecommunication giant MTS agreed to build a 5G network in Russia. Last March, the company joined forces with Suburbank, Russia's largest bank, to launch a new cloud platform aimed at Russian businesses. Huawei entered Russia decades ago. The company opened its first office in Russia in 1996. It was its first office outside of China and Hong Kong. In interviews, Huawei's founder and CEO Ren Zhengfei has often spoken highly of Russia's technological potential. Already, Russian engineers are helping Huawei find ways to reduce the burden of U.S. sanctions. For example, Russian programmers are reportedly playing an important role in helping Huawei develop its Harmony Operational System OS, which is meant to replace Google's Android OS. Developing Harmony OS has been a top priority for Huawei ever since Google suspended its Android license in 2019 to comply with the Trump administration's sanctions. So, what do you think about that? Tell me your opinions in the comments down below. See you in my next video.